Hello English learners in Spain. This is Learn English with Brandon and I am going to give you some some tips on practicing your English in Spain for free. Now, the first way you can do this is by finding somebody who wants to learn Spanish or who wants to learn perhaps a skill that you have to offer and that you can exchange with them. We call this a individual or private language exchange. Now you might be thinking, where can I find a person to help teach me English for free? Well, the best way that I can recommend to do this is by going to a website called lingobongo.com. Yes, that's L-I-N-G-O-B-O-N-G-O dot com. Bingo was his name. Oh, just kidding. So yes, lingobongo.com is a resource website for English learners, English teachers, academies, and community coordinators. There are four sections on this website, and you will want to check out the exchange section where you can post your services, whether you want to teach somebody Spanish, you want to teach them CrossFit in, in exchange for English lessons, or perhaps you want to teach them underwater basketball weaving or something like that, there is likely somebody out there who is willing to practice with you. I am an English native, but yet I love practicing my Spanish whenever I can. Now, the second way you can practice your English in Spain for free is similar to what I just described on Lingo Bongo, but you can go to language exchanges in group settings. There are language exchanges every single day in Madrid. There are, there's a similar situation in Barcelona, Sevilla, and many other main cities in Spain. So, you can find out about these by doing a Google search, and you can also find out about these at lingobongo.com. Now, the language exchanges are places where you go and you talk to people in many different types of languages. There, there will be people who speak Russian, people who speak Italian and French. Um, but you can, you can seek out the people that teach English or that speak English, not necessarily just teach. Yes, us native speakers go there who are non-teachers. We'll just like to have a few drinks and visit with people who we hadn't met before. So this is a wonderful way to practice your English for free. Now, of course, you might be thinking, well, how much do I have to spend at the bar? You can, just, you can buy a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. So this is, this is an excellent way, and I encourage all of my students to do this. Really, in my, in my classes, I am often encouraging my students to use as many resources at the, as they can uh, to practice their English, to read about grammar if they so desire, um, to find practice tests online. Uh, it is very important for us as learners to diversify our learning habits and to really really narrow down on what actually works specifically for us. We all learn things differently. We all learn language differently. And because of that, there is no one specific way to learn a language. And there is uh, no way, no specific way to teach a language. So those are the first two ways. The second is pick up your cell phone. Pick up your cell phone, go on YouTube, Look on Google, and you can do this while you're on the metro. There are some cool applications out there called Duolingo, um, Memrise, Memrise.com. This is a website that was created by memory scientists to help people learn vocabulary. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe. Please leave comments below. If you are interested in private lessons or private group classes online, you can visit my website at brandonsalo.com for more information. Thanks again. See you soon.